Liam Neeson is speaking out after coming under fire over a controversial interview he gave yesterday to a British newspaper. Now, I know you guys, you've yeah. heard about mm -hmm. this, right? So he spoke to the UK Independent, where he admitted to having violent thoughts about killing a, quote, black bastard oh, well, to avenge the rape of a friend of his from over 40 years ago. He actually opened up about it, and this is what he said. He said, I went out deliberately into black areas in the city looking to be set upon. Okay, so this is problematic for a couple of different reasons. One, because he went looking for trouble. And two, it's racist because he assumed he would find trouble if he just went into a black neighborhood. That's a racist assumption to make, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, well, you know, he made the error. He went on several shows today, this morning. He actually spoke to GMA. To, he tried to explain it. And, you know, this is how he addressed the controversy. He insisted that he's not a racist. Of course, everybody has a reaction to this. But he also revealed that he sought help from a priest after having what he described several times as a primal urge. So he was saying he had a primal urge yeah, yeah. to go out and, and kill, kill a black man. Yes. Well, he also told Robin that besides going to the priest, that he was going power walking for a couple hours a day to help him get over this primal rage. Mm -hmm. Now, I wish racism was as easy to cure with just some vigorous exercise that 80-year-olds do in a mall, but I don't <laughs> think it works that way, right? Then he went over to good old Kelly and Ryan, Ryan. Mm -hmm. and me and Elizabeth watched this, and we were shocked. He was pandering because he went through the audience, he hugged and kissed every black person in the audience, the black guy, he gave it like dap to or whatever. Mm -hmm. But something that Elizabeth and I noticed, Elizabeth hit it. Well, he only shook the hands of every white person in the audience, so it seemed a little strange. But the thing that was weird to me with his he TV kissed, interviews... He kissed every black woman in the audience, but he shook the hands of every yes. white person in the audience. Now, like, why not hug and kiss them, too? Yeah, and the mm. thing that was weird when we were watching is his interviews this morning, you thought he was going to do it for an apology, but he said he wanted to open the dialogue, but it just it didn't seem like an apology. He just kind of kept telling his story. So. And where did it even come from? Like, why is he even I bet he about because the movie that he's Same. doing is about revenge. And my uh, thing is this, like, you know, people are congratulating him for being honest and open about his primal urge. But you know what? I cannot congratulate him for this. Today would have been Trayvon Martin's 24th birthday. And he was actually killed because someone set upon him. Someone actually went out looking for a black person to kill. And that's why Trayvon Martin is not here on his 24th birthday. Yeah, so this is a serious matter. I'm not saying that Liam Neeson would have done that, but he does say that he was looking to do it. And, and he, he went out he, with a and weapon. And he went to five neighborhoods. I yeah. believe that's what he and said. And he went and he took a weapon with him. Yeah. So this could have ended very poorly. Okay.